Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. In this video, we check out the Winter Wonderland map that SCS released for the holidays. Back-to-back -back runs to Denver, Colorado in the snow, let's get going. And here we are in the beautiful T680, the next-gen T680, and we got the Packard MX-13 engine, I'm gonna fire it up for you here. All right, and uh, the sounds are by good old Creech Bomb and the sound pack, uh, I think for 4.2 or whatever we're at now. Um, but uh, all the mods I use will be shown at the end of the video if you wanna stick around for that. So let's go and push our parking brake in here. We're driving an automatic here today uh, and we're picking up this trailer here of chocolate and we're taking it to Denver. We're in the winter wonderland, which is really cool. We're gonna talk a little bit about that here in a bit. Um, but it is, it was a welcome surprise that came out around Christmas and a little bit before then, but it goes until uh, the middle of January. So we're late to the party, um, but that is okay. I'll talk to you about everything that's been going on with me. Um, apart from that, uh, it was, it's awesome to not just have, you know, another uh, event for the world of trucks and all that stuff, but to have an actual map is, uh, is pretty phenomenal, honestly. You know what, I think I have trailer coupling disabled for a trailer I was running last time, so I think we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way today. Let's go ahead and couple the trailer up. There we go. The old-fashioned way. That works for me. Yeah, so no tug tests or anything like that today. Um, I'm using Serial Black's awesome physics mod, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that. But also, we have to give credit where it's due to SES and the snow physics that are... Uh, here present on the winter wonderland map. It is actually quite Amazing how they grabbed that uh, And made the feeling uh, of driving on snow present now later on you're gonna see we're using the frosty winter weather mod When we get out towards Denver um, so that will be a thing as well and then uh, I'll showcase a little bit about uh what they've added new with that, including the ability to have clear roads, which is really, really cool, and it makes me very happy to see. Um, so we have this trailer. Where are we going exactly? That is the question we need to actually look at. And opening up the map, it shows you where we are located, and these are the portals. You see these little portals here? Um, you'll see those, and you will also see those on the other map, too, whenever we get to the United States. But... Uh, we're gonna go to this one here. That way we get to go to the right and check out the mountain resort and uh, get a little bit more time in the snow. So let me demonstrate the snow physics for you here. We're gonna get this thing up to speed a little bit here. And I'm just gonna slam the brakes and show you how it slides around. So here we're getting the lights now. Watch, if I lock them up, look at that. We're sliding on the, on the snow. <laughs> and if we turn the wheel really hard a certain way, look at how it slides around. It's pretty, Pretty involved. Love the beautiful Christmas lights, and we have the uh, train station here on the right-hand side. And uh, trust me, I know I'm I'm late to the party on all this stuff. Would have been cool to have this around Christmas, but we had a lot going on uh, that I can share with you guys a little later on. Um, I'm at a place where I uh, feel okay to share that with you. Um, but apart from that, I have been uh, just taking some time off for the holidays, um, enjoying time with uh, friends and family, and it's been good so far, man. It's been been really good. Uh, happy New Year to all of you. Yes, I don't live under a rock. I do know the next state is going to be Missouri. After Nebraska and Arkansas, how about that? My home state. I'm very, very, very excited about it. That is for certain. Let's talk a little bit about the mirrors. How awesome is this on the T680? The next gen, we've got the new uh, computerized mirrors inside here. And honestly, I really like them. I like the placement of them. They're easy to see. Look at that train chugging along over there. The Polar Express. Got to get up this hill. Oh, you see that? Look at that. I'm sliding the tires there on the snow. And I'm wondering if this is a glimpse into what we might expect from SCS. Maybe they're showing, you know, showing, hey, we can do snow physics. And maybe we'll get seasons eventually. You know, that would be really, really, really cool. That would be really nice. Another thing is that if you turn the engine brake on, especially on a high end, watch. 
it slides on you. The truck will actually slide on you, similar to what we've seen uh, in the rain that they've added. But uh, we've had some strides when it comes to the physics in the game. But I use Serial Black's awesome physics mod. I highly recommend that. I can get it on the Truckee, uh, uh, not store, but the Truckee <laughs> website. I'll show you all the mods, like I said, at the end of the video. And I slimmed them down quite a bit from what we were using before uh, with 1.49. All right, around the corner we go. Just taking it easy here. The train is, you know, gonna beat us no problem here. Christmas market supply. I wonder if it's always nighttime here. I have yet to see, I have yet to come to this place when it is daytime. Now, I, I know it can be done, and maybe we'll see that eventually, but uh, as of right now, we're just gonna get the pitch dark as we drive through here. And we're climbing this mountain right now, but. We're doing a pretty good job. Nothing too terrible. That is for certain. And we'll go around this way. Man, listen to the sound of that. That's, oh, careful. I can already feel the truck wanting to just dart to the left on me there. You see that? <laughs> Come on, turn the turn the tires nice and easy here. Yeah, you can, uh, you can lose your truck and trailer pretty easy just like this. Climb up and around the corner here. I'm trying to see, yeah, this is a hill, so we need to get some speed up here without spinning the tires. Come on, there we go. Just wanted to be in that next gear. Nope, nope. We're not sliding tires though, we're good. And that's something that's really well done is the grip level on the snow. You know, fresh snow like this, compacted, this looks graded, like a grader came through here. Um, you know, you have traction, more traction on this than you would, say, ice. Uh, ice, you have like zero traction, you slide everywhere. I keep looking over the right-hand side, but we're like plenty of room. This is a very wide road. Got some cliffs up here on the left-hand side. Now, when I came in to... Uh, the chocolate factory. It was uh, really cool. I went through a tunnel and there's like a tree there. There's a lot here to explore. And uh, you'll have, you'll have a little bit more time, you know, I think it's, it goes till January 14th. So if you haven't jumped in to the winter wonderland, you're kind of missing out. But this looks like a test bed for what's to come in American Truck Simulator with a new version. And I'm not sure if they're going to update their, uh, or when they're going to update their graphics engine or the game engine, but it needs a little bit of help, doesn't it? Just a little bit. So the mountain resort's up here and we make a left. Oh, look at this. We got fresh snow over here. It's kind of like just cut in the middle of this. We're going to go to the right because that's what the GPS is telling us to. I don't even know if the left is modeled, but it probably is. More than likely it is. Now we have the full bright lights on this thing and this is all that we're getting out of it. Nice and easy here, buddy. So this is the mountain resort we're coming up on here. And yeah, it's, it's a very Christmassy village, which you know, during Christmas time was a welcome sight. Um, but after New Year's, usually when people take all their Christmas decorations down and stuff. All right, Rudolph's Crafts, North Star Post Office to the left. Okay, we're going to the left here, though. Oh, just kidding. I don't have uh, Joy to Key running in the background today, so we're just going to do the old-fashioned way. <laughs> There's a little, a couple blinks there. Oh, we got Christmas wreath there on that. All right. That's the hotel here at the resort. And now we're going up this hill. Uh, we could get a little more difficult here. We're only doing 15 miles an hour, but it's pretty capable. I mean, this is a 500 something horsepower engine I have in this thing. And uh, I really like this. This is probably one of my favorite fleet trucks that have come out in a while. I've been waiting for the next gen. It, the next gen T680 is just a beautiful looking truck, number one. But number two, I really like the 
I like the GPS on this thing, the location. I like the uh, UI on it. I like the gauge cluster and the digital mirrors are really well done. All right, we have a bridge here. So we're gonna be going over this. It says Merry Christmas in Wonderland 2024. We're gonna cross this bridge here. Yeah, very interesting that we're seeing this only at night. And it could just be my luck. Because every time I see this uh, this place, I'm like, it's nighttime here. Why, like, when am I going to get it during the day? It's like, it feels the, it feels like the portal is just kind of working against you sometimes. So the portal's up here on the right. And we will be going over there in a second. I know a lot of you probably just want me to absolutely crash this thing on the, on the snow. But I will leave you uh, to that. I love how the lights light up the snow on the ground too really well. But if you remember the last time we used the frosty winter weather mod, um, we were very excited about it because, or no, we were, well, I'm always excited to use it. And uh, one thing we talked about was I wish that there was a way that you could remove the snow on the roads and then just have snow as the aesthetic, you know, on the side of the road and stuff like that, like the roads have been cleared. Well, they have that option now. As long as you run that above the frosty winter weather mod, it'll clear the roads for you, which is amazing. So that's what we will be checking out today. All right. Portals up here on the right hand side. All right, that'll work. I like the blue lights. I like the uh, the feel that we're getting here. It's a very Christmassy cold. It feels cold, you know, or it looks cold. That's what I mean to say. So this is the portal up here on the right, and you can tell because you can see the falling snow. Where the falling snow is, well, that's where the portal is located, right there. So you just kind of pull in, kind of like a uh, like a truck stop, and you shut your engine off, like right between these things here. Uh, you shut your engine off and then it gives you the ability to go through the portal and transport into the next the next spot which we're gonna do all right we'll stop the engine and now we're gonna travel away from this wonderful winter wonderland and we're gonna head to the state of Colorado all right we made it to Colorado it's 457 in the morning we're just not getting a daytime run on this one today just not gonna happen um, turn our bright lights off. We don't need those on. And we need to get out of here. How do we get out of here? That is the question. There's the road there. We have to go to the left, I think. That's how these work. This particular spot. How are we on fuel? Oh, we're, we should be fine on fuel. Yeah. We're good on fuel. And we need to get out of here to the right. It looks like so you have to go out and around so we'll just go to the back side here and then make the right turn out of the out of the station because there's some trucks here sleeping they're all parked up for the the night slash morning and we're gonna go out around this uh, Quonset hut looks like this will get us out of here I believe and where this truck is back here yeah, we'll kind of just sneak around here. That'll work, and then we'll make the right-hand turn. Now, the cameras are brighter than the, you know, surrounding and mirrors, so it does brighten it up, which is actually really cool. I like that because it helps, you know, when you're trying to see in dark areas. Probably uses a ISO setting or something within the camera to do that. I'm not sure about the technology with all of that. But check it out, we have clear roads, but snow. Which is pretty darn cool. All right. Back on the road we go. Get on the highway. So yeah, um, for those of you that know, you know, we've, we've had, uh, we've had animals we have animals we've had we've had two dogs and a cat um and uh one of our dogs 
Benny. He was getting uh, quite old. Make a left here. Not here. This next one. No, it's here. I can never tell with these stupid, these stupid road systems sometimes and the GPS. It makes no sense sometimes. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. For the past, uh, the past month, we've pretty much been giving him hospice care. He was an old dog. Ooh, careful. He was an old puppy, um, but we ended up having to put him down. And uh, that was a very, very difficult thing to do. And uh, I just couldn't. I couldn't come back and create content and, and, and fake happy, you know. Had to go through the grieving process. And, 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 and going through that whole thing was just not a good time. And I'm not trying to bring anybody down. I'm just letting you know. That's the reason why there was gaps in uploads and stuff like that. Um, but his suffering's over, over, he had, uh, he had a bone cancer and, uh, about six months ago, the vet told us he had probably three to six months and, uh, we provided as much care as we possibly could for him until, uh, his body just gave up on him. So that's, that's what happened. That's a, a large reason for the gap in time. But, you know, it's been a couple weeks now. Well, a little a little over a, a week since it happened. And, uh, you know, I've gone through the grieving process and I'm, I'm starting to feel more of myself again. Let's get this thing up to speed. We're not on snow, Jeff. <laughs> so, I will be returning back to doing a lot of things that I... I've been wanting to get into. Uh, I've been wanting to do some more flights and videos and stuff like that. That will be coming down the line. Now, I uh, picked up the Fly Simware Learjet 35 Alpha. I've been flying that quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to get the systems down and everything so that I can uh, transfer that knowledge over to you guys if it's an airplane you, uh, you're interested in. And also, I and I builds A300. That'll be coming as well. So, I have a lot of stuff on the way from there. Now, during the GTA 5 RP week, um, a lot of people asked what that was. Uh, Rockstar had put out a uh, an event, not an event, but they. Uh, Put out like they're giving away 600,000 subscribers on Twitch. It was kind of like a Twitch drop. You know, you had to be there watching. Then you would get a free subscription or something like that uh, by a token. So a full week we did it, all of that. And we got some some great stuff out of that. Like a lot of great gaming moments from that week. I think we're making a right. They aren't telling me. Are we exiting here? I do. I never know with these GPSs. I never know. If you don't have the audio audible thing that yells at you, I, I know we're going towards Denver, so we're gonna go south. Just follow the signs, right? Um, but uh, had a lot of great gaming moments out of that, and we, I was able to get uh, quite a few episodes out of it to y'all. And uh, I'll explain a little bit of the process behind that. So. For me, I don't uh, tend to record my GTA 5 RP sessions anymore. I usually take them from a live stream. Now, the reason for this is because within a live stream environment, um, I don't have to worry about losing hours and hours of a recording off of a, a glitch or a hiccup. Um, it's kind of right there from Twitch. Uh, I can download the VOD and then I can edit it. Um, getting the audio just right is always a little bit difficult sometimes because that's the nature of live streaming. It can be all over the place. Uh, some days Windows wants to crank a certain program up more than the other. Um, <laughs> but that's where I grab that from. And then I do my intros and stuff like that from B-roll that I grab in the server through the Rockstar Editor. Now... It's really the only series I do that with, and uh, maybe flight sim sometimes. Um, and one thing I've learned over the course of the you know the past uh, couple of years I've been doing it is that 
it always seems like I'm able to uh, to make better episodes out of it because I can't explain it. But whenever you're in a uh, say you go onto a RP server and with the intent of recording or something and you're recording, you have this pressure there of getting content or you know wanting the RP scene to go a certain way so you can kind of fill it all out because you're sitting there for you know three hours recording. Um, for anything to happen and in a live stream environment it's so much more organic with the rp hello mr hiccup and uh to me that's been amazing because i uh i really really thrive in a improv setting of just kind of going with whatever happens and that is the product of what's changed as far as that goes. Now, never scripted. We've never, ever scripted or have done anything uh, in our RP scenarios ever. Um, not even like, usually it's like an idea. It's like, oh, hey, let's go do this. And then whatever happens, happens. And that's how it should be. Um, but what I mean is that if you're there for like three hours or so, just streaming and, and 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 organically RPing with everybody on the server and just seeing what happens. Um, I find that you know I'm I'm way more happy with the uh, the outcome of those sessions per se than feeling like uh, you know I've got to get a certain aspect of the storyline out or whatever because if it doesn't work out I just don't make it into a video you know. Now all those. VODs, and if you want behind the scenes and you want to see how the whole thing it, you know, goes, uh, that can all be seen on Twitch. Not only do I live stream on twitch.tv slash jfaviano, but uh, you can watch all the VODs back there. I publish the VODs there, and you can watch those videos in their entirety. Especially if you don't like, uh, if you like non-edited content. Well, there you go. That's about as raw as it gets. There's a, uh, a a good understanding of when we're in a big RP scene, I don't interact with chat and stuff like that. Um, it takes away from the scene, one, if you're just not paying attention, but two, uh, it makes it easier for, you know, editing in those scenes if I'm not being like, hey, thanks uh, so-and-so for so many months of subscription or, you know, saying something that they said in the chat, so. That's a little insight of what goes on behind the scenes to make an OCRP episode. What are you beeping at me about, huh? You really didn't like that I had my blinker on. I was that close to the curb or something, maybe? Something like that. Also, the frosty tires, that's a thing. All right, we're going to go in here. I'm not sure where we're dropping. And this is... You know, we haven't been in here in a while, so we're doing a, a long one today. We're not doing just one drop. We're going to be doing two because we're definitely going to drive during the daylight hours as well. Don't you worry. We're not going to just have a nighttime drive. The thumbnail was not to bamboozle. I, I tend to not do a lot of nighttime um, thumbnails. Okay, is it back here on the left corner? It's got to be. I'm not familiar with this spot here. It's got to be back there on the left. Weird. I can get... Probably get this trailer around the corner here. Uh, I'm going to get out. and We're going to go look and see where we're supposed to be. All right, so that is the dock we're supposed to be in. So we'll have to back up and then go to the right, and then we can easily make this turn, no problem. All right, push that in. Wait for the sound of that to go away and we'll just put it in reverse. We'll back this thing up, give ourselves some room so we can move this thing over to the side and not smash into the gully trailer. That would be nice, right? <laughs> there we go. Give ourselves some room to move all the way over to the right so we can make this turn, no problem. Because there's no way we'd make that turn with the trailer right there. Not gonna happen. All right, sweet. That's probably more than enough room right there. Let me know in the uh, comments below if you guys have been driving the new T680 and what do you think of it? 
Hopefully you are enjoying it as much as I am. Like I said, it's my new fleet truck, man. It's a new favorite. I really like the Freightliner Cascadia as a fleet truck, but this thing is a whole new world. All right, yeah, just hug the left-hand side and back straight up. It's that simple. I could put the icons mod back in, but like I said, I'm doing little bits at a time to get everything back in order uh, because the profile just insta crashed on me and I was I tried to remove a bunch of different mods uh, that I thought were causing the problem, but turns out uh, I couldn't figure it out. So I had to remove them all and then just add them one by one and test. That's kind of the outcome of that. Now normally I don't run, um, I don't run color correction in the game, but the winter weather mod require or uh, suggested it. So I'm running that on it today. All right, straight back from here. And I think they're gonna let us bump the dock on this one. My only pet peeve with the docks are they are too wide sometimes. You see how wide these things can be? All right, wait for it to turn green a little bit here. I'm gonna roll it right back onto the dock. There's the green. Actually, this is a pretty good trajectory right here. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, that was it. Yep, we're in the dock, just like that. Awesome. All right, engine off. Well, we don't need the engine off, but just decouple the trailer. Let's see what we got. We got an excellent 165 miles were driven. Time taken 32 minutes. 38.6 gallons of fuel consumed. That's 81 World of Trucks contracts completed. So now we have an option to take Christmas decorations to the mountain resort back in Snowy Peaks, back on the Winter Wonderland. So we're gonna do that one there uh, and we're gonna begin the delivery. All right, trailer's over here to the right. So we need to come up here and turn around. Now I went in and turned advanced trailer coupling back on. So that will be cool. You can actually back up to it, do a tug test and all that. What we like to do normally, and it's two in the morning yet again, they're trying to make us drive at night. So uh, no matter what, we're gonna cheat the system and we are going to advance time on this one. It'll be late. I don't care, I'll just take the take the hit on that and then we'll, uh, we'll at least be able to see during the day of what's going on because I am over the nighttime driving Thought it would be something different and cool, but uh, yeah. Okay, it's lined up to about right here. Love the FOV mod. You always got to have that FOV mod, man. That's like a must. All right. Still not a thing in the game, which is kind of crazy, right? All right, I think we might be in the kingpin here. Let's see. It's trying. I don't know about that. Are we in there? There's the tug test, yeah, we're, we're definitely in there. Cool. Oh boy, it is cold out here. Let's get those things up, there we go. We've completed our walk around inspection. Everything looks good, all the lights are working and everything. Pre-trip is complete. All right, I advanced time to eight o'clock in the morning, so like I said, it's going to be uh, late, which is fine, and it is coming down really hard right now, the snow is, and we need to find what portal we're gonna go to. We have three right around, oh, we have four of them right here at this spot. Uh, and it's not too far around the corner. So we're gonna go to these portals and uh, that's where we're gonna make our way to the Winter Wonderland. All right, here we go. Back to the Winter Wonderland, but now we're gonna be in the snow. It is coming down. And it looks amazing, man. Looks really good. All right, we're gonna make a right turn out of here. So we can actually, we have plenty of room here to turn. I don't have the physics mod in that, uh, or the, the snow physics that essentially just make it like you're driving on ice all the time. I see your car, don't worry. I'm just trying to make this turn. Thank you, buddy, appreciate you. Oh yeah, we were fine on that one. That wasn't a problem at all. Left turn here. This will take us down to the highway immediately. Um, yeah, that's just always too much. And not to mention, you know, there's no re reason to run a uh, a mod like that right now whenever you have clear roads. Well, okay. I think this is that car. I think whenever that car went by us, that's the reason why it uh, flagged that. Interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. So I'll be back at, in action now. Uh, making videos. I have a lot of projects on my mind. Um, there's a game called Denizen. Um, that I've had on the back burner for a long time for a project in series. Uh, it's kind of like a life simulator. Like we've, we play a lot of different life simulators on the channel, but, um, that one is slowly but surely getting there, uh, in a much better state. Now it's a demo as it is right now. I'm not sure whenever it releases, but, and I kind of gotten to the point where I'm, I'm starting to wait until games release more than, uh, in demos. Cause we used to play a lot of demos and then sadly, the game didn't come out, you know, like the airport renovator simulator. Like I need to check that again, but last I checked, it still ha oh, it wasn't released. So a lot of these games get delayed and then I'm like, oh, well, I guess we're not playing that. <laughs> All right. On the highway, go, uh, stop when red one. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. The visibility has dropped like crazy on this drive. We'll be north on the 25. Actually, we just stay in this lane, I think. This takes you all the way around. Using CIP SIPs, traffic density mod as well. That's how you get the realistic uh, traffic density that you see on the roadways. And it is coming down like crazy. Let's get these wipers going here. I'm um, not running a police municipal mod mainly because I didn't double check to see if uh, it was updated for 1.49. I'm sure it was, uh, but I didn't double check it and I didn't want to have that in on a recording and, you know, have a crash or something stupid happen to it. So that's, we are, that's the one we are not running right now. Currently. All right, let's slow up here. Everybody's kind of just kind of chilling here at about 40 miles an hour. Well, I'm, I'm fine with that for now. Oh, the Toyota Corolla. Another thing you got to have the Jazzy Cat, mo you know, mods. Uh, Jazzy Cat models are fantastic. All the different uh, AI traffic, painted truck traffic, all that. I run that. Some other mods had gotten, uh, have gotten, uh, removed or they're they're expired or they're retired or whatever you want to call it uh, and one of those was the real advertisements one that one is no longer a thing sadly i used to use that one all the time uh, but we are using the real company's mod and that one's on the workshop steam workshop oh it looks like the fog is lifted a little bit here it's still snowing like crazy but the fog isn't too bad it's cleaned up quite a bit all right, over this way to the right. Hello, car. I see you there. We need to exit here, I think. Yes, we do. And stay to the right. We're good. Going to Limon. Eastbound. This will take us over to the truck stop we need to go to. I keep wanting to drive this thing like uh, we're on the snow. <laughs> From the Winter Wonderland. It's so wildly different. The physics. Okay, we'll get in the left lane here because this is an exit only lane. Oh, I know. I see the car. I do love that thing, man. That is actually really nice. I know it's annoying to, to real truckers, but it's pretty awesome. As far as uh, you know, helping you out in the game so you don't run into another car. Is that a Mustang? I think there's a Mustang. Yeah, it's like a 98 Mustang. Oh, that is cool. Those are really popular. Now I went to, uh, I graduated from a, a town called Pacific, Missouri. And, uh, I graduated there and that car in particular was quite popular at the time. And so was the Dodge neon. We had a dealership and, uh, we had a Dodge dealership in the town and pretty much all the high school students had Dodge neons. <laughs> they were just everywhere. You don't see a lot of them on the roads anymore because, man, they just were not the greatest car. They were not. Kind of like the Pontiac Sunfire. You just don't see a lot of those on the road anymore. It's this one. It's like a Altima. Um, but I opted in and I got a 1978 Oldsmobile Tornado. That was my first car. 
So I've always, always loved the old, old cars. And then for those of you that uh, have seen my old car I used to have here on the channel, that was my 77 Tornado. That was a different one. That was a, a white one. My original one was a 78. It was a brome, and it was uh, gold in color. Loved, love, loved that car. It was a tank, man. Old, uh, Oldsmobile 402 engines are, are absolute tanks. And now, with the 17... Okay, buddy, you're getting on the highway. Oh, buddy, okay. Uh, now I have the 2017 Ram. Same truck. Since, uh, since 2016, 2017, when we got it, brand new. Um, but it's paid off. Paid it off last year. So I own it free and clear. It's got 61,000 miles on it. So it, it, it's not like super high mileage because didn't drive it a whole, whole, whole lot. Um, I mean, it got regular use. And you know what's funny is that a lot of people are like, you're never going to need a truck like that. Blah, blah, blah. It's useless. And they could be, couldn't be any more wrong. Um, or they could be any more. I forget what the saying is. <laughs> but, yeah. No. Use that truck to its uh, potential on a consistent basis. Now, you see how I have to slow down for these corners like this? Because you see how the truck's acting there? That's Serial Black's physics mod that I use. It's amazing. You can't just arcade drive this truck around the map. Uh, you will crash it 100%. Also, if you slam the brakes, you know, it'll skid and stuff. Um, one thing that's really cool about this uh, mod is that you'll feel the trailer push against you when you're going down the hill. And when you're going up the hill, you'll feel the truck pulling the trailer um, as if it has weight to it, which is really cool. But going back to what I was saying, uh, yeah, still have the Ram, still have the motorcycle too. The motorcycle will be paid off soon, uh, probably this year, actually. So once it starts warming up, might get back into riding that thing and, uh, and showing that to you because there's some really great roads in Missouri to check out and, and to ride. Uh, riding in Florida was just something that we, we stopped doing. It was just, it was so dangerous. The amount of near misses, um, you know, and I was fully protected and, you know, I had high vis gear on and stuff like that. Cause you know, it's Florida, uh, and, uh, yeah, there was just too many close calls to where I almost sold the bikes. Almost sold it. And I, I talked about that before. I was like, we we're probably going to sell it and get a boat or something. But we didn't end up doing that. Just kept the bikes. And we moved back to Missouri. Let's slow down up here. We're going to make it to the portal. Yeah. Now, hopefully, hopefully will get daytime in Winter Wonderland. That would be really cool. That's what I want to see. And uh, maybe I'll have to flub the time there too. I don't know how it's going to do the whole... Um, I don't know how it's going to do the time here with the with the portal. I mean, lots of traffic from the right over there by the Burger King. Look at the traffic coming off the highway right there. That's crazy. Start pulling forward here. Looks like he's turning. Nope. CRB's going that way. All right, we're good. Let's go around this way. I'm going to give a little bit of room for this truck to get out if he wants to. There we go. Got a T-Force Freight. He's just going straight. I'd love to you know, help out this truck, but we are already here. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. It looks like he really wants to do it, but. <laughs> All right, we're going over here to the Loves. Pull in here. And you'll see that snow falling. Not this snow that we're seeing right now, but we'll see that other snow falling. And then we will be transported into a new world. The Winter Wonderland. I need to finish up my driving Kansas 
I'll probably end up doing that on stream. Probably a little bit easier. All right, where's the snow on this one? Back here on the right, it looks like. I'm gonna go to this one over here on the left. Because I don't know how to get back to that one in the corner. But you can see the snow falling right there. So we have portals everywhere right here. That's all that matters. And we're fine on fuel. This thing sips gas. Or diesel. Heaven forbid you say that. Um, yes, this is exactly where we want to be. Right here. Right now. All right, next gen. Pull up right here. That's good enough for me. Kill the engine. And let's do it. I am convinced it's always nighttime here, man. I am convinced you can't get it to be daytime. I'm going to try it, though. I am going to try it. So I changed it to 8 a.m., but it is always dark, no matter what you do. It's, it's a little lighter out, a little lighter out, but it is, uh, it's not pitch dark, at least. All right, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. And I am going to actually shut up and just let you listen to the sounds because you can hear the snow crunching on the tires and stuff like that. And uh, let the pack car just do its job of putting you to sleep. <laughs> and down the hill we go. Enjoy. Okay, made it down to the bottom here and check it out. We have some reindeer to check out over here on the left hand side. Look at those guys there. Oh, we got to get out and, and check them out for sure. Oh, they're not billboards. They're not 2D. They're 3D reindeer moving around. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Right, we're getting closer to the town square up here. So hopefully you enjoyed that little soundscape there. I'll do the best I can to try to match the audio levels on it. That's for certain because it can be a tad loud at times. I understand. And I'm really trying to, I'll keep this video under an hour. <laughs> so I'll probably do some edits here and there. 
And we made it to Town Square. We haven't got to see that yet, so... This is what I wanted to do, is come through here. Got a statue there. No traffic, just snow-covered cars. So there's no AI traffic on this Winterland map that I've seen so far. Toys and Jingles, gift shop. You know, a part of me is kind of happy uh, I got to do this video after Christmas and all that because, you know, we get to see the wonder of it all again. I know a lot of people are like, no, Christmas is over. We're done. New Year's is over. We're done. I understand that. But for those of us that didn't want to let it go, here we are. And City Hall looks like right here. The town square. Classic. Got some people hanging out over there by the Christmas tree. And that's the thing, you know, here in the winter wonderland, every day is Christmas, it looks like. I mean, it doesn't look like the town has much more of an identity than Christmas. Town Square discovered, all right. There's the President Hotel there. That snowman right out front of the toy store. <laughs> I like the Christmas wreaths here. That's cool. That's ah, pretty. It's pretty cool through here, man. We have a vista coming up here shortly. Oh, we're going to have to go up this hill. Uh, this is going to be a little more difficult than you think. That's for certain. Oh, careful, careful. I can feel it starting to slide on me. We're good. We are good on that. These roads are a little windy right through here. Oh, we got another building over there on the left. That's cool. Not sure what that all entails. All right, climb the hill here to the right. I'm just happy that they do have daytime here. <laughs> Even 8 o'clock in the morning was just, it's just dingy, you know? And and that's probably just the skybox as well as the fog. They have a fog and then the skybox is just set where it's at. It could be random, you know? Maybe they do have, like, all weather here in this winter wonderland. I don't know. Well, we have to, you know, when in Rome, we have to go get this thing, right? Yeah. We have time for it. We do. We have time for it. Whoa, hello. Whoa, that is deep snow. Hello. Okay. Cool. I just hope we're able to get out of this, to be honest with you. I don't know if we're going to be able to get out of this. <laughs> All right, that was a cool viewpoint. I like that one. All right, now getting out of this is going to be interesting. I don't know if we are going to be able to get out of this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're good. It wasn't like super deep snow or anything. But on a hill like that, that was uh, asking for it. It's a sleepy little Christmas town, and... I believe this is used for American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim, so they kind of made it work for both places, you know. I'm getting a lot of stutters here, though, which is kind of strange. There's no AI traffic or anything. It's just loading in assets, I think. Yeah. Interesting. It's been pretty smooth all the way up until this point. Oh man, we gotta go all the way through this here. Well, we could probably carry a little bit of speed through this section. I wouldn't go much faster than 25 on the snow. Especially through here. Oh yeah, this feeler skating around on us a little bit. I'm gonna stick to the middle of the road. It's like we're a truckie. 
Okay, down and around the corner. But this is neat. We're getting to see a lot more of the winter wonderland than we would have seen at night, you know? That's all I was hoping for. All right, slow down here for this corner. Yeah, take her easy, because this thing is so... Oh, I can already feel like... Oh, that's scary. It slid on us a little bit there. And you can only get so much turn out of the wheels before it starts to just slide on them, you know? Go down this mountain, and then it's a left turn at the bottom of the hill. That'll work for me. Slow up, buddy. Slow up. We're good. Yep, mountain resort. That's where we went. Oh, man. This could be bad. This could be bad. <sighs> Manage speed a little bit better here, dude. Jeez Louise. This is scary coming down this mountain. <laughs> it is sliding all over the place on me. All right, you just gotta be real careful here. Just adding just a little bit of brake pressure, not very much. Don't wanna lock the wheels up, but this is a heck of a grade we're coming down here. And it's a little terrifying, not gonna lie. The feeling of the truck just wanting to just go on you here. It's a bit unsettling. Oh, I know this comes out at. This comes out down at the bottom when we make the left, and that's where that split was we saw at nighttime. So we'll get to see it during the day. And then we'll be dropping off at the mountain resort. Well, how about that? How cool is that? All right. Left turn up here. Not if there's any traffic on the roads. They don't care about our blinkers, but we'll do it anyway. The Snowy Peach Market. That's where we're going. All right. Kill that. And up to the right. These snowbanks are crazy, dude. These are tall. Oh, don't go too fast around this corner here. We made it this far without slamming it into anything. Made it this far without slamming into a thing. All right. This is the drop up. Oh, it looks like, no, it's not here. It's down a little bit further. So we made a left turn here at the spa hotel last time. This time we're going straight. Yeah. And it doesn't look like it's going to be simple either. It looks like it's a mountain, a curvy mountain up to the top of the resort. So this will be challenging. Okay, come on, truck. Let's get some uh, get some grip here if you can. Nice and easy. You see that thing blinking over there on the right, like we were getting close to the wall. It didn't like that. There's another little spot there to do a viewpoint, but I think we're just gonna skip that one for time's sakes. Uh, a restaurant up here, that's cool. Got a restaurant. I gotta say this truck's been pretty capable so far, so good. It looks like you can go all the way up to the peak if we if you go to the left here. Hey, you know what? I will take that because that doesn't happen very often. Unless you're doing a heavy load or something like that. All right, cool. And we'll go ahead and decouple the trailer. We know this is going to be late as heck. Just kidding. We got an excellent out of that. 183 miles, 33 minutes, 39.9 gallons of fuel consumed. And that's 82 for us on that one. How about that? All right. All right. And these are the active mods that I am currently running that you saw today. Realistic Mirror FOV 1.49. That is Serial Black's Realistic Physics. Um, I'll have that linked in the description below. Real AI Traffic F Mod Sounds ATS Engine Sound Pack 4.2 by Creech Bomb. That is on the SCS forums. Then on the Grimes WordPress. 
you get Frosty Clean Roads, Frosty 5.0, and Frosty Wheels. Those are the winter mods we're running there. Uh, real density, uh, real traffic density by SIP, uh, 1.49. And then these are the latest and greatest versions of the Jazzy Cat packs. AI traffic pack, painted truck traffic, classic AI traffic, and trailers and cargo. And then real companies, gas stations, and billboards. Those are the only mods that I'm running here today. All right, well, that'll do it for me. Happy 2024 to all of you. Thanks for checking out today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.